You guys, there's a heat advisory out today because it's so hot. And I think that the little birds are so hungry and yet so hot at the same time. They just keep like laying here panting in the window. So I'm going to try putting some water out for them. Hi, buddy. Look at them. See, look at them. Oh, gosh. I don't know why they do this every time. See the way? I almost wonder, like, are they trying to get cool? I mean, that looks like a dying bird to me. So I start freaking out and I'm like, oh, my goodness. What's going on? What are you doing? But I think they're just so, so hot. So I'm going to put some water out and see if that helps them. All right, we have some seed, some fresh seed put out, and I put a little water dish out with fresh water in it. So now we're just going to have to kind of sit back and see if that either scares them all away. A chickadee already came to grab a seed, so it at least wanted the seed, but we'll have to see if that helps them at all. I mean, I hope, I hope it'll help them. I don't want to see them be miserable in this heat, but... I don't know. I mean, they know where to find water in the wild, but we'll see if this helps them or not. Well, we've got the hummingbird enjoying... What? That's normal water, hummingbird. So there's normal water. I put some out by uh, where I normally put the bird seed out, too. But we have the hummingbird enjoying fresh hummingbird nectar. Hi, little one. Look at your ruby throat. Oh, that's so pretty. And then I put some water into the little green dish right there as well for the normal birds, just in case they want it. They know where to find water out in the wild, but it's just really, really, really hot. There's heat advisories out today. So we're gonna see if this helps out the little guys too. I don't know if it would. It'd be really cool. If it, if it works, I might set up a bird bath on the deck. <gasps> that would be so awesome. We have some visitors. So, so far, nobody seems that intrigued by the water, unless, hey, hey, do you want that? That is a baby titmouse, and it was yelling at its parent to feed it. Hi, little one, that's a big old seed for you. Oh, there's mom again. So I think the birds are okay. I think when they're hot, they just like laying on the seeds and panicking me because of the way they look. But I'll leave the water out there for a little bit longer just in case on super hot days like this. Hi, chickadee dee dee! But yeah, so far nobody really seems interested or to need the water. So in a way that's a huge relief and everybody is looking a little bit better as the afternoon is waning on. But hmm, maybe I will like get a bird bath. Hi, Bobby! Maybe I will get a bird bath at some point in the future when we move to Ann Arbor maybe. And put it on my deck because it would be fun to watch all the birds bathe. Guys, you guys, it's a success. Oh my goodness, the titmouse is using the little water. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. And there's actually a cardinal. Okay, titmouse is done. Oh, don't scare the cardinal. And the cardinal, just a second ago, was drinking a teeny bit of the water, and now it's eating some seeds. So how exciting is that? So the titmice are really active, and as soon as one titmouse, oh, there's a chickadee. As soon as one titmouse starts doing something, the others start doing something too. So hopefully that'll help them. It's 104 degrees Fahrenheit outside today, and I'm really hoping, oh, are you going to peck open that little seed? There you go, buddy. There you go. Yeah, see how he tucks it between his legs? So cute, but I'm really hoping that because it's 104 degrees Fahrenheit outside right now, and it's so miserably hot, then doing this will hopefully help some of the the little birdos. Look at him peck that peanut part open. You're yeah, yeah, you little titmouse. Are you gonna feel better? It's so hot, it's so hot. So there's an idea, you guys. Just make sure you kind of check how to do it safely. But and there's a little titmice in the tree. But it may be a nice idea to put out a bowl of water for the titmice or maybe even make a bee garden because it is definitely getting into the hot part of summer and it's really hard for all of the wild little creatures. So that was really exciting. I was hoping they would drink from that. All right, well, we're going to have to do another little adventure vlog or a vlog over on my vlog channel when I move to Michigan setting up a bird bath because I would love to put one on my deck. <gasps> Just imagine if we see the chipmunks there drinking from it. Oh, I would love that. All right, enjoy, little guy. Cool off. Cool off and stay safe. It's so hot here. <gasps> Are you going to drink from it? Drink from it. Drink from it. Ah, oh, so close. He's, he's like, I don't know. Why is she watching me? I'll hold still. You can do it. You can do it. Or do you just want seeds? He just wants seeds. All right. Well, we'll, we'll work it out. Oh, gosh. Look, they're so curious about it. Ah. <laughs> and they got to get the best seeds before the other birds do. Oh, I love watching these guys. Gosh, you guys, I didn't think about this. 
but it's so hot. Look at the squirrel. It literally just jumped on our tech about two seconds ago, jumped up here and laid down flat as a pancake. I didn't even think about maybe the squirrel would enjoy having a spot to come and drink a little bit of water. But if he's going to do that, or if he's just going to lay there. <laughs> oh, do you see the water, little buddy? Or do you see me? He's like, uh oh, I've been spotted. All right, there's no seeds up there right now, but you're welcome to the water that's inside of the, the water dish. Are you going to do it? All right, I'll give you just a minute. We'll see. Or have you just frozen up? It's a very brave squirrel, to be honest. But all right, I'll keep an eye on it. I don't know if he'll see. Oh, nope. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what he wants. He just wants to stretch out and lay down. That's so cute. But I didn't think about that. Maybe this little water thing will actually end up. Oh, <gasps> am I going to get a, a little squirrel drinking from the water dish? Or is he just going to sniff it? Or is he going to knock it straight off the third story and shatter it on the ground below? Who knows? We'll have to keep an eye on the next chapter of this mystery. Hang in there, little guy. 104 degrees and climbing outside today. So I really hope you guys are staying safe and staying hydrated. It's really hot out there. Are you going to drink from it? Or are you just... Oh, this is... Oh, you can't eat it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my gosh. Don't knock it down. Don't knock it down. There we go. Okay, so he's he's climbing in the water. If he he's like dabbling oh he's he is kind of drinking from it and he's kind of sniffing it. There we go. Well that's an unexpected like turn of events. Look at him splash it around. You are a very odd little creature. Are you just trying to reach the bird seed that's like around it? Don't knock it off my deck. I will be so cross with you. <laughs> oh, he's gonna knock it straight off my deck. I should go rescue it. <laughs> At least he knocked it onto my deck and not off the third story. Oh, Alright, we'll try again.